Welcome to the Service Clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Today I'd like to talk about terminal draw. Now, I know that first word terminal is not one of the most favorites, but we're going to talk about something other of a different meaning of terminal and draw or no, we're not going to be doing any Pictionary stuff here. Let me explain. Terminal draw is a process we use for electronic diagnostics when we have an issue. And this video came about because of a customer came in and said he hooks up his battery tender every night and in the morning his bike is hard to start. So he brought the bike in and we took the battery out and checked it on our Medtronics and it passed. So then we have to start looking a little bit further and we found that the battery tender in the schematics is connected directly to the main fuse before it starts charging the battery. All right, so let's look at the main fuse and part of the diagnostics is the terminal draw. So let me show you a quick little thing that you can do to see is your main fuse a little bit loose. I prefer to have the motorcycle disconnected at the battery, disconnect your ground, and remember if you guys have security, let's take care of that before you disconnect the battery. But all right, so you remove your main fuse. Now, you can move your main fuse, well, first look at the condition of it, okay? Then move your main fuse over a little bit and try to put the terminal in the slot, if I can see it from this side. There we go. And try to push it in. It should have some resistance. This one does. And then try to pull it out slowly. This terminal draw is going to take a little practice to get the feel for it, but then try to pull it out and it should have some resistance. Then go to the other side and try to push it in. Yes, there's resistance. And then try to pull it out. Yes, there's resistance. So this one turned out okay, but the customer's was loose. So it really wasn't getting a good connection in here. So the battery tender couldn't charge the battery because it couldn't get through this. Now, this terminal draw is very important for a lot of items on this motorcycle. There are connections all over this place. Another place that is important for terminal draw is difficult puts the connection at the regulator. Because why? Well, when you look at the schematics here, the voltage regulator goes through the main fuse. So the main fuse is a major thing to make sure that the terminals are tight. Also the connections here at here. And we both agree, the regulator connections are not in the most greatest location because the oil filter changes, always puts a little bit of oil on top of them. So it's always good maybe once a year to disconnect them, clean, look, see how they feel going in and out. Because if we have a loose connection, well, then we don't have good voltage going back to the battery. I've got several connectors here throughout it, and some of these are really old. Remember these from the uh, 70s, 80s? Man, these things would get loose inside the sockets in the stator pulling in and out, but you want to make sure that they're tight going in and out because we all know that there is some vibration in the motorcycle and these things trying to stay while the motor is going up and down and the wiring is connected to the frame, well, they can work themselves loose. Now we have this fantastic kit, which is super expensive, but it has every terminal connection inside so we can take ours try to put it into the connector the female side and the male side and feel how much draw there is is there a resistance pulling in and out or is it loose now there is also when you have connectors let's say you have six terminals inside the connector there can be just one that is a little bit loose so how do you do that I believe it's a little bit inexpensive, but you can go to your dealer and say, hey, I have a connector that is at underneath my seat that connects my wires to the back fender. So ask to purchase 
the male and the female side of it. Then you can go to your bike and you can try the draw test on every one of them that's in the connector and try to get it so it's a nice resistance going in. You want it tight. You don't want it loose. Now what happens if you find something loose? Sometimes, it's not all the time, I'll see if our camera person can do it. Here's one. You see there's a split in this female connector? This one is worn out. Now, sometimes you can go with a little screwdriver on either side of the connector and kind of try to bend them back to get a little more life out of it. Yes, I would prefer if you cut and replace, but to get yourself by and to test your system to see if that is the issue, try to get a screwdriver in and kind of move it closer together. Terminal draw. It's a type of diagnostic helper that could possibly find a issue that seems to come on and come off. It's just something that you can't diagnose really quickly. So you start going to the terminals and going, ah, I've got one, which is the ground, having a hard time keeping it tight. You replace the terminals, put it together. Everything is tight and better. Hope this helps you out in maybe a winter project, checking your connectors all over your motorcycle to see, do I have resistance or am I getting a little bit loose here and the connection isn't tight? I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.